What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball as you can see. Today, I have a very special guest and friend, <laughs> Micah Ma'a. Micah, welcome What's to up, the everybody? channel. What's up everybody? What's up Eric? Thank so, you for having me. So, if you guys don't know, Micah and I both play professional volleyball in Poland. Micah for, which team? GKS Katowice. Wow, and oh, you like as that. you guys know, I play for Zaksa Kajaj and Kozle. We're actually about an hour apart, so today we both had the day off and we're filming this video today. So we are very excited to watch this match for you guys today. Today. But before we get into the match today, you guys know I like to play a little game with my guest called This or That. So, Ooh, like Micah, this. I'm gonna okay. give you two options, and kind of off the top of the head, which one okay. would you prefer? Okay. All right, let's get started. First one's easy. Coffee or tea? Tea. Tea. I've never gotten tea on this channel. Well, then why'd the you ask? Then why'd you ask? Tea, Good. of course. I have really? like four four mugs or glasses of tea every day. Really? A hundred percent. Really? Yeah. I've never. Sugar, <laughs> English breakfast tea, and milk. Wow. So, wait. What? What's your favorite? English breakfast English tea with breakfast some milk. Tea. Wow, so even before games, you drink tea? All the time. At least four times a day. At least. We learn something new every day. Tea, tea, tea. Tea, all right. So you're, we forgot to say this. You're from Hawaii, just like me. Micah also went to Punahou High School. Go Puns, Buff and Blue Baby. Where we both graduated from. <laughs> forgot to mention that. But you went to school at UCLA in California. Yeah. And now you live there during the summers. Yeah. So Hawaii or California? Hawaii. That's very easy. Duh. Very easy. Very easy. These are easy so far. All right. You're also probably the only USA Volleyball player to set one match mm. in a weekend and then also hit a match in a weekend. That's insane, you guys. We'll talk about it later. Okay. So, setting or hitting. Hit. What position do you play here? Set. <laughs> Hitting is so much more fun. I knew hitting I actually is so much knew more fun. you were gonna say that. I hitting is more fun. Hitting is so much more fun. Setting is fun too, but it's it's a little bit more stressful. I think. It's so much more <laughs> stressful. Like you guys have no idea. If you guys have the option, don't to say. answer the question that we've all heard out of system and Micah, mm -hmm. you know, present to juniors out there. Setting is the hardest position. Yeah. I think so. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm sorry, Always. Libros out there. Setting is the hardest Setting position. Setting is definitely the hardest position. It's the hardest position. All right, next question. Two foods we eat a lot in Hawaii. Asian food or Hawaiian food? Oh my gosh. Okay, Asian food. Wow. Asian food. I will get a lot of flack for this from my family, but I'm not the biggest Hawaiian food guy. Like Kahlua really? pig and rice, no doubt, but for sure. I'm not a big seafood other. guy. There's not a lot of seafood in Hawaiian food, is there? I'll eat poke. Oh. I'll eat poke. I wasn't even thinking about that. Duh. Yeah, there, there is fish in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, like no I've, fish in Hawaii. I've been oh, overseas sir? a little bit too long. Oh, All right, Asian food. All right, speaking of food in Hawaii, sushi yeah. or poke? Poke. Yeah, he, you, you're yeah, weird poke. and don't like yeah, sushi. Yeah, 100% poke for me. You That's can do without one. the rice, you don't need the rice. You don't need the rice. Oh, I put... Oh, I put rice in my poke. Poke without rice? Okay. Next question, next question. We, got, right. it, we got it. All right, you're also a musician. You love to sing, you love yeah. to rap, you love to dance, you love to make music videos. Where can we find your music, first of all? Oh, dang. Um, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, but it's under an artist name called Kama, K-A-M-A. Check it out, guys. It's super awesome that he's doing this um, music, and he's a you. very talented musician. Dancing so, partner, dancing along with the one and only Benjamin Patch. For sure. For locker sure. room dance crew, USA Locker Absolutely. Room Dance Crew. Absolutely. So, you like to sing and rap, So, but singing or rapping? Oh, singing. Singing. I think I've heard you sing more than you have. Yeah, singing. I feel like, yeah, for sure. Okay, breakfast or dinner? Oh! <laughs> oh no! Breakfast. We don't have that much time. Breakfast. Breakfast. Favorite yeah. Breakfast food. Five. Four. Portuguese three. sausage. That's easy. That one's really easy. I would say the same. I would say this. Let's go. Okay. Portuguese sausage. Hundred okay. okay. percent. Um, 
Actually, this was a question from your sister, Mehana. Okay. I didn't think of this because okay. I'm not a basketball person. Okay. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Oh, that's so easy. LeBron James. Wow. Overall, like just the overall player. That's some controversy right can there. Can rebound, can run the break, 6'8", 250, can score, one of the best passes of all time. Michael was not able to pass like LeBron, but LeBron can score like Michael at times. All right, we're not gonna get into this. End of that answer. Okay. Got it. Okay. Cool. Oof. Controversy. And the last question. You played two seasons in France. This mm -hmm. is your first season in Poland. You've only been here about two months. Yeah. But, and you don't really have to answer this question. France or Poland? Different. Different. Poland? Cheap. I love Poland Ooh. because we can live affordably. France was pretty expensive. Oh. But I got to know my team in France really well and like, I was there for two years and felt comfortable there, so there's also that. And I love French music. Really? Music, I, sorry Poland, French music by far is some of my favorite music. Got it, so yeah. different things, different, different things. Different things, different things. But I think the volleyball here in Poland is better. Yeah, France. yeah, definitely. Overall. The, definitely the Plus Liga is, is has a lot more names and talent and money and stuff like that. True, true, true. Well. Maybe we'll do another video at the end of this season. Okay. I'll ask you. Okay, 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 okay. Deal. Got it. Well, that's the end of my questions, guys. And now we know Micah just a little bit more. All right, guys, one more thing before we get into the video. I wanted to talk about Micah and his social media brand, Out of System. Joe Gage. I brought He's this He's wrapping it right here. Micah, what is Out of System and how did this come about? Gosh, so it started with the Worsley brothers. Uh, if you guys don't know who they are, they played at the University of Hawaii. And they started a podcast. It was just supposed to be a YouTube show. And it slowly, they invited me. We also have Rado Parapunov, if you guys don't know who that is. And we're a social media brand basically now. We have a podcast, a bunch of YouTube videos. We went on a tour. We're hoping to do more clinics and tournaments, mostly outdoor tournaments, indoor clinics and stuff like that. But it's pretty much just a social media brand trying to bring more light into the volleyball community, like Eric, like Dustin like these players that are all trying to do pretty much the same thing. We're all finding that there's something missing and we're all trying to help along that route. And so that's what we're doing right now. Exactly, I love it. I don't know if you guys know, but I have been on their podcast. I have been on their YouTube. Now I'm slowly but surely getting them on my yeah. YouTube. We're all working together to grow this volleyball community because we love it and we know that there's so much potential for growth and we want to show the volleyball world what we do and hopefully helping this world grow even more so exactly. thank you for explaining that 100 percent. all right guys we are finally gonna get into this video today we are gonna be watching micah's first match in the polish plus liga who Let's is this go. against this is against gdansk i believe that's the right way to pronounce it players like Kreer from argentina uh, Kampa, from germany uh, from germany mateusz mika mika from poland who's a legend a bunch of really good players yes so and if you could tell us one thing that you were feeling before this match, you know, it's your first match here in Poland. Yeah. And I'm sure you were feeling a lot. How are you feeling and what was your mindset going into this game? Gosh, I feel like I'm in a really good situation. Our team doesn't have a lot of pressure on us. We know that we're, we don't have the budget as a lot of these teams. And so we get a lot of freedom. And so luckily I was able to feel almost a sense of underdog mentality, like not too much of a, it's ours to lose kind of situation. Um, and obviously, if you allow yourself to, you can definitely put a lot of pressure on yourself, but I was trying to focus more on the, the aspect that we are the underdogs, and it's not necessarily our game to lose, but ours to kind of go out there and play as hard as we can and see what happens. And I do think that's a great mentality to have in this league, in the Polish Plus Liga. Katowice against Gdansk, they are technically the underdogs, especially if you look in past history. But they came out super strong, yeah. went up 2-0, yeah. lost the next two sets, yeah. and we're going to watch the fifth set right now. Let's get into it. Let's do it. All right, fifth set starting. Katowice serving. Who's serving here? This is Piotr Hein, who actually played in Azovia last year as the third middle or fourth middle with Jeff Jendrick. Nice. Um, got a good hybrid. Great touch. Nice set. Bad set. Oh, bad set. Let's watch this again. So, I remember... Great like touch at block, though. Well, thank you. So maybe it got a little bit tight there. Yeah, I think it got a little bit low and tight. Um, 
It's interesting because I mentioned that we were the underdogs and then that completely switches when you're up 2-0. Like no matter who you are, you're like even if you're playing Zoxa, you're like, oh shoot, it's ours to lose now. And it's like, no, you have to remember, it's not yours to lose, remember mm. this. And so then you get a little bit tentative, you start playing things a little bit safer and you put a little bit more pressure on yourself. So we went, we lost the next two sets and now we're kind of feeling our way through the fifth, um, trying to reset. All right, float serve coming. Decent pass, a little bit low. And Yado sneaks it. This guy has Lock. such a great ability to score the ball. Like he's been an opposite for so long. This ball is a terrible set. We just had different timing. Yeah. I think he came in really quickly. Um, now looking back at it. <laughs> he came in really quickly actually. He hasn't watched this match, you guys. He hasn't watched this since we right. played it. But he has just a knack for finding seams and finding hands and so. Really lucky to play with him. All right, we got Micah serving here. Please be in. <laughs> nice. Great serve into that seam. We always talk about those seams, guys. Go, go. Oh, oh we lost that. Oh! So we're great in the corner. Yeah, great serve, you guys, right in that seam. You can see Mika, the position four player here for Gadonks. He's in middle black. He has to pass on his right, and the libero is going to his left. So anytime you can serve in the seam, it's gonna be a great serve, even if it doesn't have the most heat on it. But that had a lot of heat on it, probably close to I don't know. 70 miles an hour, probably. Gets them very out of system. High ball here, let's see how that triple was. Evaluate the triple. It was a pretty pretty decent triple for the situation that we're in. It, like that ball was technically a high ball, but it had some decent tempo to it for a high ball. Um, obviously our third guy's a little bit late reaching, but. We're in that seam deep in the corner. And I think he, yeah, our libero definitely wants that back. I think definitely so too, but that, that hitter, and he's a smaller hitter, he, that was a great hit. Yeah, High off the next hands, level hit. maybe in that seam, got it right in the corner. It's pretty tough to dig sometimes. And that's a big, like, you wanna keep your servers on the line. Like every team has their server where you're like, we need to keep this guy there because he can change the game. And so if we could get this dig, maybe I can go back and hit another one that also is, ooh. Nice. A little bit Service. more important of a point, if that makes sense. That makes sense. And that, that's a great point, you guys. There's a lot of different serving strategies out there. We do talk about that sometimes on this channel, especially with Team USA. <laughs> but when you have a great server back there, like Micah, sometimes you, you want to really score that point. You really want to focus in, dial in that point, get great touches, and try to score in transition. Whoa. Wow, what a serve. What? <laughs> I don't remember that point. So you guys, I was literally at this game but I don't remember this serve at all. Look at this hook on it, right into that seam again. Nobody moved. That ball is so tough to pass. That's a gnarly serve. That is a gnarly serve. So number two here, I think he's a younger outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the same age group uh, in internationally as uh, as me. Got but it. as you know, we play with two age groups. So he's actually 98, Okay. 1998. Nice short serve. <sighs> nice. Great ball there, let's watch this one again. Great, great short serve. serve here. Gets the overpass, a little bit tight here, but you're very athletic and tall. Put up a great ball there and get the kill. Yeah, what do you, what, what is your, I guess, technique? What do you think in your head when the ball gets tight? Ooh, I'm super aggressive. Like, I'm just thinking like, I am grabbing this ball before. Cause a lot of times I've gotten called on overs because when you're waiting, like the ball is gonna get, the longer you wait, if the ball is going over the net, the low, cause it's lower, it's gonna get onto their side of the net. Okay. If I can beat it like vertically, makes sense. I can take a ball that will be over if I wait a little, a little bit before that, if that makes sense. That makes sense. And if you're maybe a smaller setter, you're six, five, six, six. I am six, two and a half. You are not six, two I am two six, and two and a half. Okay, I'm gonna six, say three. Six, three. I'm okay, six, let's three. say you're a six foot setter. Right. And there's a tight ball. What's your strategy? What can you do to kind of boost up your ability to get those tight balls? I would jump ooh, higher. Gosh, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna have to work on some some way to get higher because a lot of it at the end of the day is like I said, I think of it as like this ball is going over, but if I can get it when it's like still on its way up and over, I can steal it. Um, so just timing also is a big part of that. For I sure, think timing you can you can gain a couple inches by by timing it right. And I do think that you can practice it. You can oh, practice yeah, oh, tight yeah. balls. I mean, it's it's one of those things that you might not think of to practice as a setter, 
but you can practice the, practice those all the time yeah. and get better. Short court, stuff along the net, like just feeling comfortable around the net with one hand, with two, realizing like body control, because a lot of people might net. Yep. So a lot of these small games, even when you're playing with friends, being close to the net and doing these kinds of things will definitely help you feel different ways to get the ball without netting. I love it. Yeah. Drop in knowledge for setters <laughs> here, guys. All right, we got 4-2 for Katowice serving. Number two, back to serve We were again. up in this? Yes, I don't remember that either. After an ace we and an overpass. So what is he gonna do with this serve? Well, I'm hoping he's gonna rip it again, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Rips it. Jesus. Out of system, let's see the set. Great set by that libero. Oh yeah, we got nice him. Nice up. Yadosh again. He loves that line shot. He does. Oh, oh we are in that corner all day. In that corner again. So we, they got the corner shot, the previous one. I know oh, what happened here. Your libero moved shallow. in a little bit, yeah, a little, little shallow. shallow, but I know that position. I know why he went there. It hit the block, got it 100%. a little bit high. So tough ball to dig, maybe a step or two back in defense there, especially with a well-formed block. He probably would have got that ball. Something I've noticed in the Plus Liga is that their liberos play so well, like deep into the corners. I like agree. they play really well, better than anyone else that I've seen. I agree with that. That looked... I looked good too. Really close. All right, Katowice with the point. Middle blocker serving. Nice float yeah, down really the good line. Serve. Oh. Ah, ah. Great. Such a good play. play. That so is such a good play. Let's start out with this serve. This serve from six to area five, right on the line, especially with someone that's gonna hand pass the ball, it's really hard to take this ball 100%. on the left side and push it over to the right. So that's why Mika struggles with that ball. It's a great serve. And then transition here, talk about this play. Gosh, I couldn't go to Yarosh, uh, our opposite, because he had made a, a really fast play. So I just yeah. wanted to open up the game. He didn't have as good of an approach. And then our pipe was struggling in transition. I couldn't really trust. Um, and as you can see here, our, our pipe wasn't really in a good position to attack. So that made my decision pretty easy. <laughs> I was just gonna give a good ball. And luckily he found the seam and put it straight down. Yeah, I think that's a big play here in Poland is this tip right in the middle. You can see the blockers are late. There's a hole about, I don't know, a foot wide, two balls maybe. Mm -hmm. Quiroga from Argentina, also from UCLA. Yeah. Extends his arm, pushes it straight down, almost impossible to dig. It's technically like a straight down bounce. Like that's how hard it is to defend yeah. this because it's so quick and yeah. it's so down that like, even if you're in a decent position, it's, it's pretty really quick. It's hard to dig. Yeah. We all know it's hard to dig. Yeah. All right, middle serving again. Where is he gonna go? I'm hoping, oh, they, oh, he, no, he, they really opened up the line on that play did. if you wanna go back. Let's go back. Look at this shift that they make. Whoa. If he would Look at area one, you guys, it's so open. If he would have, yeah, if he would have went with one of these, it would have been pretty nice. He didn't quite get it to the line like the last time, but still a good serve. Nice up by the middle. Oh, oh. what? Oh, in this play, uh, I didn't think it was out. I didn't think it was out. Okay, so they're calling that the ball went inside the antenna and out. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can see it. So this middle, pretty good play. We cannot see that. I can't tell. We can't tell. It's really tough. Our middle was in a decent position to be ready for this. It's tough because I think our outside had a good approach too. He could have gotten more wood on it. That, yeah, but yeah, it's hard to play. If you're close to the net, play the ball a little bit behind you. Yes. Like anything going forward is is not a good thing happening. I agree with that. And playing balls off the net is a skill, you guys. Yeah. Or close to the net, these little jousts off the net tips. It's a skill to play those, and it's always important to try and get them high and off the net. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, so four serving six, Katowice is winning. Where did we lose this? I don't know who's serving. I think this is a middle blocker. Float yeah. serve coming. Oof. No, that's nasty. A little tight. Oof. Oh, okay, what they're gonna call it over. They called over. Let's watch this again. I love this technique by Kiroga. I think that's great ball control. Just a little bit tight. What do you think about this call? I thought I had gotten it. I really do. Of course and, you did. And the thing is, is that he missed the ball completely in net. Oh. So even it, like, that's him. That net moving is him. So that was also tough because if I would have somehow gotten my hand out of the way, I'm wondering if he would have net somehow. If you're a setter and you can take it, try your best. That's my advice. I agree. All right, Katowice loses the challenge. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we did. Five serving <laughs> six. 
Look at these Jesus. float serves. Great. That was a bomb of a float That serve. was a bomb of a float. Better pass here. Yep. A little bit more off the net. Able it to was close. Offense. It was close. Nice. And Kiro yeah. got tools to the block. So Micah does a great job here of getting up, able to set the middle, kind of fakes out the block, and gets the insist. It's interesting that he would stay neutral, the middle blocker, because I didn't feel like I had an opportunity to set this ball back. Um, oh. But maybe he is just right. right. I know Yarsky is, our opposites are really good players, so maybe show him some respect. All right, Yato serving. Mm -hmm. Your opposite. Nice serve, out of system. Nice block. <sighs> Great dig off that. Oh, oh, the middles. Come on now, middles, you gotta get out of the way. Let me, get out of the way. Let me make a play. So great up on this joust. Oh, yeah, you did kind yeah, of you collide. Me up. Let's see, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready to get up. I oh. am, I would've gotten that 100%. <laughs> You probably would have. I probably would have. So in this play, you go up for a joust with Mika, the, yes. the hitter from Gnunks, right here. Yes. As a setter, as a blocker, this is a tough play because Super. usually the hitter has the advantage. What What is your mindset when you go into these kind of plays? Gosh, so a lot of guys are getting so good at this wipe. Um, so I'm either thinking about dropping my hands or being extremely strong. Uh, in this case, I was able to be strong enough where the ball stays within the court. He's not able to just throw it far enough where my opposite can't make a play. Um, so I'm just trying to get super strong hands. I know he's going for the wipe, but <laughs> I keep my hands, keep him strong. Maybe we can keep the ball where my opposite can make a play on it. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's really tough. Especially if that ball's tight, you're definitely at a disadvantage. Okay. All right, six serving seven. Who's I think this serving? is the point that doesn't go This away, is the, next the setter, Kampa from yeah. Germany. Who's got a lot of funk. Yep. Went with the jump. He can do float and jump. Not much controversy. No, 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 this isn't the play. The next one, it's the next one, I promise. It's the next one. All right, so pretty good pass here. You choose to go to Yadosh. Yeah. Evaluate your set just a little bit. I'm okay with it. Maybe I could have pushed the middle. Um, I re I, we have a lot of faith in our opposite. When, when we need points, we're gonna go to him. Um, and he knows that, he's fine with two up. He likes the ball a little bit inside, so I'm not too mad about that, but this is a really good block by the middle. Um, I could have made a little bit of a riskier chance, maybe. Mm. A little bit of a riskier choice, but that's hindsight, yeah. so I'm not sure. Hindsight's 20, 20 and overall, I think that was just a pretty good block. Yeah, it was a pretty good block. It was a pretty so good not block. much you can do. All right, this is the play that we're This is it, 7-7. Seven, seven. Seven. Gadans is back in the match. Went for the jump again, great pass off of that net. Oh, okay, it must be somewhere in here. Uh-huh. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Pipe. Oh. This isn't the play that I... <laughs> Not the play, I guess. So where is this play? Let's just watch this. Okay, yeah, let's watch So I it. love the, this pass off the net. The libero stays pretty balanced, pretty solid. What happened there? I think the pass got pushed. It's not a good choice because the, uh, the pipe in the middle just get really close and I'm not sure, he was going pretty wide on his pipe. We ran it again. You did. We came right back to it, and I'm not mad about that. Um, just, I think it was out by just a little bit. Yeah, I remember, I we'll see if you guys challenged it. But he barely misses the block there. Yeah, it, it was a great hit. Missed it by a little, maybe the ball's a little bit low. Compass, is he gonna go with the flow, or is he gonna go with the jump? What do you think? Take a bet. Jump. Yep. Nice. Overpass again! Okay. Yeah, dude, Argentina middles, they have the gnarliest crossbody. I know Soleil has this too. Yeah. They just let the ball like pass him and just like with this long whip of an arm, just like right hammer there. it with like such a good angle. Like I'm not gonna dig that. No, and <laughs> you can't walk it either. No, cause you're already like stuck and the ball's just moving past you and you're like, oh gosh. All right, out of the timeout, nine, seven. Ooh, went with the float. And 10 foot line pass. Was this the call? No, it's not the call. I don't think it's he in this set. He missed it. He missed it. So this passer was real aggressive in front of the libero and then Kiroga barely misses the block and it goes out. Kampa 
Chubs okay, thank service. goodness. See, I tell you guys, sometimes you appreciate the service errors when it's your point. Oh, 100%. <laughs> As a setter, I'm like, nice. I don't have to think. I don't have to, like, oh, yeah. side us out. It's Trust just, me. they get it to nice us. sometimes. All right, so your middle's back to serve. This is the first guy that served this set. Good float serve. This is this is our out, This is our outside that we just subbed in. And I believe he oh, comes in and ace, gets an ace. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> this is the first time. What? It's his first point in the Plus Liga. Not. Yeah. And, it's, and, he and it serves. comes at this. Yeah, how's that? Look at First that point serve. in the plus Liga. I fifth don't set. If you have five passers on the court, if you're gonna pass that ball, there, that's yeah. insane. Even Vlasley is like, oh, I uh, know it's in. That's my fault. Eight ten. Oh, didn't quite get to that corner. Whoa. Maybe that's the con. Maybe. No, no, no. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Nika. I think we lose this point, and I'm not being that, that happy. That play is so smart. Nice. Uh, oh. Oh. oh my gosh, what a rally. Look at our two, at the end, we have two players on the floor. <laughs> Devastated. Just like... All right. This bar here. So. I'm a huge fan it. of throwing the middle in there. He, he didn't go. He, he actually came up to me. It was really nice. He came up to me after the game and it said like, hey man, that was a good, because usually I'm very like, I take everything personal, like it's on me. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're the same where I'm like, oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Even, like, and I never can think that it's a hitters until I watch film, which is really yeah. nice because it's a little liberating. But he came up to me after and was like, hey man, like that was a good choice by you. And I, and I didn't jump, I didn't do my job. Oh, wow. and I won't do that again. I'll be ready. That's nice. And I, that was the first time someone's done that to me and it was really, really cool. Hitters, maybe it's not a bad idea to do. You earn a lot of trust and For I'll sure. definitely go back Take to him again. I, I mean, I agree. I think just taking responsibility. If it's your fault, you know. Like, right. you know. It's And it's okay to tell your setter or your libero 100%. or whatever. Like, that was my fault. I'm going to get better. I'm going to improve. Let's work on it. Totally. Because the there's this, like, awkwardness that always is between people when you're like, uh. And then just clears the air. And you're just like, okay. Yep. We know what it is. Okay, now we can deal with it. It's not, it's not like you or me. But at least we know and we can move forward. Exactly. And then I love this play by Mika here. He does this little rebound, recycle, tip into the block, gets it back. Yeah. And then actually a nice- It was up, a great dig, goes but- over, Crayer puts it straight down. Wow, it's 11 to eight. Yeah, we were down. I remember being down. I don't remember exactly how much. Okay, Gedank sir, subs in a serving sub, Reichardt from Germany. Yeah. I think he meant- What? Oh my gosh, this is really happening? Mike, put this free ball over. <laughs> I, I got it, I got it. Pretty close to that antenna. Nice, nice play. Nice set. Net. Wow, what a set okay. by our middle. There is a lot to talk about. There is a lot. First wow. of all, this serve right off the net. That's how the did he even get that? I don't know up. how he saved that. It's You're the fully worst. Committed as to a something. Passer, trust me. And then a great dig here. And then this middle. This middle makes a, a tempo. Set. A tempo bump set. A tempo set bump set. Middles. This happens more than you think. I yeah. would say. It happens a lot. Once or twice a match, yeah. once a set. Those are points that can win you matches. Yeah. So middles, practice your ball control, practice balls off the net. Come down ready. Exactly. Like come down expecting, a lot of people like think they're the only person on the court. They block and like it passes and they're like, oh. oh. And we're like, dude, we're, there's like the three of us back here trying our hardest <laughs> yeah. to get the ball up. Like <laughs> turn around and be ready. I agree. Yes. 10-11. It's a great serve off the bench. Off the bench again. Go. Yeah, we got it. Nice, Micah. Great set. And a nice high hit to the corner. That guy was hitting high all night. And he it was. was super impressive. This is a nice tempo set. Just high over the block. Yeah. Hitters, hit high. Good things happen. Yeah. yeah. It's tough to, especially you get blocks and it's like free balls. When sure. you're hitting high, it's so nice when, when players hit high. Yeah. Because you get a lot of chances. We're tied up now. 11 all. Off the bench serving again. Off the, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh. This guy's a really good uh, a serve straight and a nice short. Oh, that's your backup and, oppo, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Okay. He, does he went cross serve. body. And he caught us up, so we're back. 12-11, side out game. He'll put it in, I think. Yeah. Yep. In system. <gasps> they net. They net. Yeah, ah. look at our, look at our guy. Look at our guy running. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Holy, he hit it out and they net. 
That is All a right, break. Right. We spatched that ball and we got a break. Okay. Okay. Pause in the action. It's 12 all. Mm -hmm. You're back to serve. Yeah. What are you feeling? What is your mindset? What do you want to do on this serve? So all night, this guy was giving me a lot of line. So I'm thinking I'm going after the line. And I think like in these, oppor these opportunities is a good way to phrase it. Yeah. Like when I go back there, I'm, I try to phrase it as like an opportunity instead of like something that I'm gonna like, the fear of like, oh, I'm oh, not gonna that. make it. I'm that. like, oh, I have an opportunity to like make a sick play. Instead of like, oh, I have an opportunity to, if that makes sense. That makes um, a lot of sense. Yeah. So you're just trying to phrase it as like the opportunity to make a great play. And if it doesn't happen, it's like, okay, I missed that opportunity to make a great play, but um, I went after it. Yeah, I think these situations are tough. There's a lot of people that don't want to serve at 12 all because they're, they're fearing this moment, but you have a tendency to embrace these moments. And I think what you said about seeing it as an opportunity is super important. I love that. I'm gonna try that tomorrow in practice. Yeah, it's really cool. And see how that works. So instead of fearing these kinds of moments in a game, let's view them as opportunities to make a great play. All right, 12-12. Okay. They shifted, they shifted on, you. on me. And you still got the ace. I didn't realize, I didn't realize that either. They bring in four. They bring in four right there. The line is still kind of old though. Apparently yeah, 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 yeah. apparently. But I didn't even realize that either, even after the fact, because I immediately turned around. <laughs> but and they guy, do a really clean shift, Eric. That was a good shift. Like, that's very seamless. If that guy was standing there, I definitely would have went after him, but so that was out of my of, vision. In terms of passing, the guy just gets his platform out a little bit late. He's not mm -hmm. able to drop his right shoulder. We're, we're talking technically here. Again, a great serve. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think if you're 99, you just want to get your platform out a little bit earlier so you can drop that shoulder, be a little bit more solid, but probably like the best serve ever. So yeah, right. Um, pretty tough At a to whopping <laughs> 50 miles per hour. 13, 12, Micah serving again. The shift is on again. The shift is on. Gets the overpass. Yeah, boy. Nice. Yeah, we've just been rocking with that guy. He's been scoring a lot. Great serve here. And you go over that shoot set yeah. to the outside because that guy was a pretty big point scorer. I think they knew that I liked the, the gap or the seven or whatever you guys, the three in transition, which is why I think I get um, them kind of to jump like with him. Like a half him. block. Great play there, especially getting that overpass. Just going for it, guys. Just ripping. All right, we're on match point. 14-12. The comeback by Katowice. Four man again. Woo! They dime me. What? Yeah, they absolutely dime me. Great up. Great touch. That was a good touch in the block. Oh, and this guy. Oh, this oh, is such a... We it. can't see it. This guy dove into the benches for this ball. I thought this ball was gone. Once, once I hit the block... So we get a really good block touch. Really great good block touch. touch. Great. Uh, you were pretty sucked in there. I was, I was, I was. And then you guys, this, this guy gets a sick up. <laughs> amazing up and no one's there. No one's there. You can see us going crazy. Oh. What a tough way to end it. Also, first of all, way. I'm obsessed with this pass. I'm sorry. No, it's an incredible pass. That is such a- It's such a gnarly. Let's pause it on contact. Wow. I mean, How do you do that? Here's, like, <laughs> here's the thing you guys about passing. Feet are very important, but there are days and serves where you can't move your feet. And that's when your platform and your angles and your shoulders and your solidness come into play. And his feet didn't move an inch, Yeah. but his platform somehow got there. His shoulder is dipped. So his left shoulder is forward to target. Somehow that is that a, pass. Yeah, that is an uh, incredible pass. And then a great touch. What brought you in here on defense? Let's see. I don't know. Pretty far into Super. the Super. I mean, whatever. No, I am really far into the court. Luckily, you're athletic and you can jump. <laughs> jump and touch it. And then high off the hands again. Yeah. Libero makes a sick up. Why nobody goes for this ball? <laughs> We're still on. Yeah, and I had such a good view. I saw the guy make the play. I'm like, are you serious? He's going to get this? And then I was watching, like, I saw that there's no one there and I saw it was up to the middle. And once I saw the middle, like, turn, I'm like, there's no one behind him. There's, there's no one. nobody. There's anyway. No one. Katowice with, okay. with the upset, we'll call it an upset. I hope so. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're trying to be the upset like underdog. For so. sure. 15 12 in the fifth. Nice work. Yep. Yeah. All right, Micah, that was an exciting match. You ended up getting MVP of yeah. the game in your first 
place they got. Max. Yeah, I didn't feel like That's I did, I didn't feel like I should have gotten it. I made some good serves at the end, He's but a our humble guy. Our outside really was playing super well, and also our opposite. So, well, could have gone it's to a nice thing to get. It, it was amazing. Good. It was feels amazing. Good. No, it felt incredible for sure. Well, but, Katowice is two and one currently in yeah. the Plus Liga. They just had a tough loss last night. But what are your hopes for the season moving forward? To upset more teams. Like, we really want to be that team that people, like, are scared of, that know that they have nothing to lose. Because um, we're, as I said before, we don't have a lot of pressure. We're a little bit lower on the totem pole financially and, like, name-wise and just with the guys that we have, which I think liberates us and gives us an opportunity to just, like, put some fear into some teams at For times. Sure. Like, that's really what we the want. Fear's is, like, the fear is there. The fear is there. Okay, good, good. Well, two, they have two great wins. We'll see. We'll so see. keep it going, hopefully. For sure. Keep it going. And then hopefully you'll see both of us on the court for Team USA next summer. But you guys, I just want to thank Micah again thank for you. coming on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned a lot. I know we did. Yeah, uh, this is really fun. And of course, get out, play some volleyball, have some fun, and we'll see you all soon. Peace!